Figuring out how to record my DAW audio in OBS might be one of the most infuriating processes I've ever tried to set up. I tried the voice meter approach and it was complicated to set up and it only ever worked half the time. Well, fear not, I have finally found a way that allows you to be able to record or stream DAW audio using OBS and a Windows machine. And I'm also going to show you my secret way of being able to record, record voiceovers as well. And this is something that I have not seen in any other tutorial. So let's hop to my computer and I will show you how all this is set up. All right, step one is you wanna download RiaStream. This is gonna be the plugin that we use to stream the DAW audio to OBS. So you go to this website, which I'll link in the description, and you wanna download RIA plugs. And once you do that, go ahead and install it. And the main thing here is you're gonna have a whole slew of plugins you can download. Really the only thing that you need is the RIA stream part and then just click next and go ahead and install that. The next thing is to open up your project in your DAW and then on your master bus, you're going to add the RIA stream plugin that you just downloaded. So go ahead and do that. We're gonna send audio because we're sending audio to OBS and set it as a local broadcast and the audio channels should be two for stereo. And then for identifier, you wanna label this as something that you'll remember because you'll need this later. So since I'm using the Studio One DAW, I'm just gonna label this as S1. I think it is case sensitive, so keep that in mind, but that's all we need for that for now. All right, so now go into OBS and I would just create a new scene so that you can reuse this. And in sources, we wanna add a new source, so click the plus button, and then we're gonna add an audio input capture. I'll just label this as DAW. I'm gonna use the default device, which is gonna be my Focusrite audio interface, and you can probably hear the microphone is being doubled. That's because these, this new DAW track is using the same source as my microphone input. So what we want is we want this new track we created to only play the DAW audio. So because we don't want it to pick up the microphone input, we want to reduce the gain so that we're eliminating the input going into the interface. So the way to do that is to right click and go to filters and we want to add a gain effect and we're gonna lower the gain as much as possible, which in this case is 30 dB. That may not be enough to eliminate it completely, so what I'm gonna do is just duplicate that, gain two, and now we have 60 dB of gain, so if we close out of that, we can see that this DAW track is no longer picking up the microphone input, so we can go ahead and unmute that, and now we want to finally add another version. We want to add Restream to OBS to receive the audio coming from the DAW. So we're going to go back, right click, go into filters, and add a VST2 plugin. This allows you to use third party plugins. I'll just call this Restream. And then from there, we want to search through the slew of filters to find RiaStream. I know for mine, it's all the way at the bottom. Open the plugin interface. This is where you wanna re remember the identifier that you used before. So I know I used S1 and that's it. So now if we go to the track and we play it, we should hear the DAW audio. And boom, there we go. Now there may be times where you want your voiceover audio to be coming from your DAW as opposed to OBS here. For example, maybe you wanna add effects to your voice. It's a lot easier to do that in a DAW than it is through OBS. So this part is a little more complicated, but bear with me and I will show you exactly how to do this. You could just simp simply add an audio track and just arm the track and, and you'll, you'll be, be able to hear it just fine. The problem is that it's going to be routed through your master bus here. So I have a mastering chain here and 
you may want it. You may want your voiceover to go through your mastering chain. I typically don't want that. So if I want to be able to bypass this mastering chain, I have to create a separate output in my DAW. This is probably gonna vary depending on what DAW you have, but for me, I wanna go into the project settings or options here, and I know I need to go into song setup. You wanna go wherever in your DAW where you can program your inputs and outputs. And then from there, you wanna go into your outputs, and we want to add a stereo output. This is a new stereo output. So we're gonna label this as voiceover. And it's gonna be using the same outputs as our main master bus. So I'm just gonna be clicking on there. So it's using output one and two, click apply. And so now we can see we have this voiceover output. And so this output is not going to have any sort of mastering effects on it. And so we want to route this voiceover track that I created to that voiceover output. And so now what we want is we want this voiceover output to now be sent to OBS. So we have to redo the, the entire process that we did for recording DAW audio, and we have to do that for the voiceover. So we have to add Reastream here and you want to create a separate identifier than what you did for recording your DAW audio. If you use the same identifier, the problem, I've tried this and it's gonna result in crackling audio. So it needs to be something separate. So I'm just gonna call it VO. We still want to send the audio as a local broadcast and it is going to be two channels. So go ahead and X out of that. And now we have to program OBS to receive that audio. So we're going back into here. We gotta repeat the whole process. So we go in the sources, we add an audio input capture, and we're gonna call this just VO for voiceover. And, and it's, it's gonna, gonna use the, the default, default device. device. My, My microphone, microphone is probably is doubled. doubled. So, so let's, let's mute that. that. So just like before, because it's using the interface, it's gonna be capturing the audio going into the interface, namely my microphone. So we wanna reduce the gain so that it's no longer getting that input. So we have to go into filters and then we're going to add the gain plugin, reduce the gain all the way, duplicate it so that it's removing 60 dB of gain. And then from there, we can add the VST2 plugin and then Reastream, spelled that wrong, that's okay. And we wanna find Reastream again. This time we wanna label it as the identifier that we used for the voiceover. So VO, we're receiving the audio, and we're going to X out. So now what'll happen, if I arm this track, you'll be able to hear my voiceover without those mastering effects because it's now using a separate output. So I'm going to unmute the voiceover here now that it's no longer receiving my microphone input. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mute my microphone and I'm gonna enable this voiceover here. So let's try that. All right, so now you should be hearing the voiceover just fine. And so now instead of the voiceover coming through OBS or coming from OBS, it's now coming from my DAW. So now I can add any sort of inserts that I want to this and it'll work just fine. And you can also still play the track as well. So I'm gonna disable, uh, I'm gonna disarm the track. And you can hear now the, you can hear the voiceover as well as the track. The reason I disarmed it is because it's coming through my speakers as opposed to headphones, so I didn't want that output coming through the microphone. But in any case, as long as you're using headphones, you can have your voiceover uh, engaged and you can just play the track and you can just do your voiceovers. And so this is how you go about setting up how to record your doll, as well as being able to uh, record the voiceover coming from your doll. Using this method has worked really well for me. And in fact, I used it to recently record a video that I published recently comparing my $1,000 mastering chain to Slate Digital's new Slate Virtue mastering software. So if you're interested in that, definitely check that out here. Be sure to subscribe if you found this video to be useful. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.